is the Yeezy 700 V2 underrated? To answer that question, you gotta take it back to 2018 when this new Yeezy model originally debuted. Now at the time, we just had two colorways for the 700 V1, so I was expecting to get a new colorway for that model and then boom, Yeezy debuts the V2 and my mind was blown. Now that following year, they dropped several colorways for the 700 V2, but I feel like at the time, people were still warming up to the V1 and a lot of those colorways went under the radar. So fast forward to 2022, Yeezy brought back this classic and they have plans to drop another classic Yeezy 700 V2 later this year. So what's good guys? JA, if you guys could do me a solid favor, go ahead and leave a thumbs up here on today's video. It helps out the channel tremendously. And let's go ahead and get into the latest Yeezy updates. So we already know the month of March is jam packed when it comes to Yeezy releases. I low key could almost say that there's too many releases, but I'll talk a little bit more about that shortly. So of course, Monday, we had a restock of the Yeezy Desert Boot Rock, followed up by Friday's release of the 700 V3 Mono Safflower. Now that release I sat out on, I actually already own the OG. While I do like the new orange glow, it wasn't doing enough to make me go ahead and cop these joints. Now coming up Monday, we got a big release. The 350 V2 Bone is going down. And then Tuesday, we have a restock of the 700 V1 Wave Runner. It doesn't matter how many times they bring those joints back, it is a hot commodity in the Yeezy community. And then Thursday, we have the Yeezy 450 Cinder. And then Friday, we have the Yeezy Stone Carbon Knit Runner. Now, when I was mentioning that there's too many releases for this month, the Yeezy Quantum Mono Carbon have already been pushed back, but I feel like nobody was really stressing about those joints because you can pretty much get any Yeezy Quantum you want already on the secondary market for under retail. But when I mentioned there's too many releases, some releases I feel like are being overshadowed just because there's so many releases that people are picking and choosing which Yeezys they cop this month. And I feel like Thursday's release of the 450 Cinder, unfortunately, will be overshadowed by all of the other Yeezy releases. But who am I kidding? I'm not mad if those joints go for a decent price on the secondary market because you know how it goes when it comes to Yeezys. Some go under retail, some float just around above retail, and then over time, they tend to go up. So hopefully that's the case for the 450 Cinder because in my opinion, that's one of the hottest releases for the month. So let me know which releases you guys cop this week and which releases you're looking forward to coming up this next week. So here we have three Yeezy 700 boxes, um, actually 700 V2s to be specific. And the reason I have these boxes here is because one of these colorways will be restocking later this fall. So earlier this month, Yeezy brought back the OG 700 V2 static and they're planning to bring back one of these releases coming up this fall, one of the classic V2 colorways. So you may be wondering why do I have three boxes here? And the answer is because of Discord. So there's this random guy with crazy inside easy info. He's been hitting me up all year on Discord and he's been giving me information that has turned out to be all 100% correct. He's even the person that first told me that the V1 Wave Runners would be restocking and look, they're now dropping this Tuesday. So he gave me three 700 V2 colorways and he told me that one of them is restocking later this fall and I happen to have all of three of these in my collection. I don't know why he's playing games with me, but um, yeah, let's unbox these and try to figure out which V2 is releasing later this year. So first up, we have the Hospital Blue. Now these joints are super underrated. I remember when these joints first dropped, they kind of switched up the materials on this one. You have more of a suede, used more on the upper, um, just this muted out blue. You got crazy 3M hits on this joint, um, including the little drops, black bottom. So um, definitely an underrated colorway. One that I have to admit that I actually didn't wear these joints too much when they had came out, but um, I feel like over time, because this pair, like nobody really talks about it, they're kind of like more rare and just a cool colorway that a lot of people aren't familiar with. So the 700 V2 Hospital Blue. Next up here, let's see what we got, guys. 
which classic. So here we have the Tefra, some beautiful earth tone joints. Now this colorway is super under radar because of the fact the geodes release, which have a similar vibe to it, but I would call this the lighter version of the geode. These joints are beautiful, great color blocking. And then of course, you got the lovely, amazing gum bottom. 700 V2s are so underappreciated. I low key want to say that they're like a more sophisticated version of the V1 and just taking it to the next level. So here we have the 700 V2 Tefra. And then lastly, we have the classic and probably my most worn V2 colorway. Here we have the Vanta. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking for Yeezy to bring these joints back. These are an all time classic, an essential Yeezy, the V2 Vanta. It's almost kind of like an ash black. Um, you got a lot of suede here, crazy 3M hits on this joint. And this is one of those colorways that I want to say this might be the best V2 colorway that has ever dropped. You do got the white exposed boost, but pretty much an all black Yeezy, but with all of the different paneling going on on the upper, gives these joints some crazy details. So another potential, which one of these three will be restocking coming up this fall? I need you guys to get in the comments and let me know which is your favorite of the three. And Yeezy Detectives, let me know if you guys have seen any early samples, um, anything in production, which one of these will be coming back this fall? I mean, if I had to pick one of the three to come back, I would say I hope it's the Vanta because this is just one of those crazy classic Yeezys. They've never restocked, resell is crazy. So it would be awesome for a lot of people that missed out on this. A lot of people are new to the Yeezy brand and this would be a great addition to the collection. So drop your feedback down below. Appreciate each and every one of you guys for tuning in. I'm J.A. Stay safe, stay blessed. I'm out, y'all. Salute.